So creating six figure months in my coaching business, I was able to, I'm able to do that because I've been doing it for, for a while, but I don't just stick with one product. I've got multiple products. I have, by the end of January, I will have a hundred products that I've created myself. So I can also pass that on to, to you. So by creating like with healthcare businesses, I did multiple healthcare business, like 10 healthcare businesses in the end, in those 20 years. By creating multiple streams of income, that is how you grow to six figure months. Not just by creating one. If you ever been in a shop and they've just got one item, what will happen? Have you ever been in a shop and you go to buy ice cream and they've only got one flavour? They've got multiple flavours, haven't they? You should be doing this in your business. And I've done it in my coaching business. I don't just offer one flavour. I offer multiple flavours, for example. So the business coaching profitability insights because I like to provide that evidence for you for coaches so coaching isn't just transformative it's a billion dollar industry the financial landscape of coaching industry market size and growth the global coaching industry is estimated to be worth several billion dollars. Its annual growth rate has been consistently positive, indicating increasing demand and acceptance of coaching services worldwide. Now, I'm a worldwide coach. I don't just do coaching in the UK. I am worldwide. And why can't you be worldwide? What's stopping you from being worldwide? So pricing structures. Now, what are you going to price your coaching business as, for example? It all depends on what you're offering. So pricing and coaching varies widely on a niche experience of a coach, the region and client type, Coaches can charge anywhere from 50 to 1,000 pounds per hour, dollars per hour. Group coaching workshops and online courses offer often have tiered pricing. So when you're packaging deals and memberships becoming very popular, memberships are very popular right now, and uh, I have a membership program, and I've got like five tiers in that membership program. I've got also the boot camps that I do, which we've got going on currently at the moment, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Tomorrow's contract day, the last day. It's not too late to join if you want to join for contracts day. But look at the different packages that you can do. Like I do training, I do one-to-one, -one, I do group coaching. I've got all the different products which people can watch on demand and grow that way as well without having to show up for the live sessions, for example. So the average earnings a coach can make in a year by offering all the pricing structures and selling daily. I didn't use to sell daily. I didn't. Can you imagine a shop, if a shop was closed all the time and then suddenly they would open up once a week when they felt like because they want to sell their items, their goods, their goods would spoil, wouldn't they? If the supermarket was to be closed and not open, 
and just open when they feel like it because they want to sell goods, then their items, their perishables will become bad, for example. So I've learned to sell daily because I've got a business to run. And why shouldn't I sell daily? Because clients need our services. So I'm going to do a breakdown for you. So high ticket offer, assuming that the coach sells a high ticket offer at say 15,000 and manages to make say four sales a month. The monthly earnings from that high ticket offer is 15,000 times four equals 60,000. Annual earnings from high ticket offers alone by selling over the 12 month period would amount to $720,000, for example. And that's something you can do over a 12 month. You can have different tiers, like in healthcare with your clients, they have uh, different tiers, different levels of service that they offer. So your price will be according to the involvement that is needed. Thank you.